Okay, so we've now loaded up into our C panel, and what we need to do is just scroll down. A couple of things that you might want to do when you first come in here is go in and add an email account. You can also set up your email forwarders and all sorts of other different bits and pieces in here. If you want to have a look at your stats for customers, this would be your area here you have a look, look at. But uh, we're coming down here to software and we're going to click on Fantastico. And um, Fantastico basically allows you to automatically go in and um, set up various different things on your website and you can see here there's content management systems but we're going to go up here to WordPress and we're going to come down here to new installation and we need 10.2 megabytes so we've got plenty of spare room there and scroll down a little bit further here now you notice that it's already installed in there or inserted in there the domain name um, unless you want it in your root directory or your main directory, you might want to put in a directory. We're just going to leave it as it is. For the administrator, you need to give it a name. I'm just going to call this admin. Then, you then come down here and put in your password. I'm going to scroll down here again and just call it admin for my uh, nickname. And I'm going to change this to info because I've already been in and set up an email address. And so you put a little description about your business there and click on install WordPress. You'll notice it now comes up here and says to you that uh, it's going to go in and place it in this directory. It tells you about the SQL database. And if you're happy with all that, you simply click on, click on finish installation. The last thing that you want to do is come down here to the send email and I always recommend that you pop in your address in there so that it sends through to you a confirmation of it so that you always have these details um, and it will also place in there the username and password for you. So in exactly three minutes and we have been videoing this while we've been doing it, we've gone through into our C panel, we've clicked on Fantastico and in one more second you'll see that we have actually gone through and set up our WordPress blog. So true to my word, here we are, I'm just going to move this over and you can see here that um, it's now online, it's called simpleonlinesolutions.info and this here is a theme that's automatically provided for you from WordPress and now the next step is to actually go into your back end, your administration panel and to start editing or setting it up to look just like this you'd like it to be. You can click in here that says login and by clicking on there it will then bring up um, a username and password area for you and then you click on login and it will then log you into the main dashboard of your WordPress blog. So that's how easy it is to go and set up a brand new WordPress on your domain. In the next video I'm going to go through and just show you a couple of things that you can do to um, get started in here. Hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you soon.